Ladies and gentlemen, heavyweight championship boxing coming to the ring and led by international grime artist Eyes. Here comes the juggernaut, Joe Joyce. Ready to rumble. Big juggernaut, hey. They don't want a war, they don't want a war with Big juggernaut, big juggernaut, hey. They don't want a war, they don't want a war with Big juggernaut, big juggernaut, hey. They don't want a war, they don't want a war with Big juggernaut, big juggernaut. They ain't never seen a hook like Joyce's. Make these heavyweights settle down their voices. Me and juggernaut are stepping out of races. Tell them where we got some other choices. They don't want a war with the juggernaut. He's about to fight the Russian like he's Rocky IV. They don't want the war, they just got the talk. Your box for the white towel on the floor. You just saved by the bell. Great point your toe, about to take for the bell. Joe Joyce making his way to the ring, looking to make history. Tonight, and become Commonwealth Heavyweight Champion in just his fourth fight. 106 years ago, the South African called Fred Storbrach managed it in his fifth fight fight. Joyce can go one better tonight. The attire and not to the fact that it's Cinco de Mayo. They don't want a war, they don't want a war with Big Juggernaut, Big Juggernaut. A day of great Mexican celebrations. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here comes the champion from Jamaica, Lenroy TNT Thomas. They can't keep a good man down. Always keep a smile when they want me to frown. Keep the vines and I stood to my ground. They will never ever take my crown. Who jump is I say no man. Lenroy Thomas totally focused on the job in hand. He's been speaking this week about how if you keep working, you keep grinding, then things will go your way. And he is the perfect example of that, the reigning defending Commonwealth heavyweight champion. And for the third time in less than a year, in a big fight on a big night in a British ring. If you told him that six years ago, when he was in the middle of a three-year absence from the ring, a period during which he really didn't know what was next for him, he would have thought you were mad. But here he is now, having won that title against Dave Allen last May in the open air of Bramall Lane, and defended recently with the technical draw. He knows that he has been set up here to be run over by the juggernaut, but that is not his plan. He feels that he'll be too seasoned, that he'll be too experienced, and although he knows all about Joyce's amateur credentials, this is not, as he says, amateur boxing. This is prize fighting. This is the hurt business. And he thinks he can teach Joyce a painful lesson. Joyce, the bigger man of the two, as we knew that he would be coming in just under 18 stone, around about the same weight he was when he stopped Donny Palmer recently. Thomas has been a professional for a lot longer, but he is a massive outsider. Joyce, 33 to one on. To be 33 to one on to win the Commonwealth title in your fourth fight. Well, that says a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, we're live on Sky Sports box office. We're in the O2 London. We're sponsored by William Hill, Volterol, World of Tanks and JD Sports, and Eddie Hearn's Matchroom Boxing in association with Haymaker Ringstar Promotions is very proud to bring you 12 three-minute rounds for the heavyweight championship of the Commonwealth. Sanctioned by the Commonwealth Boxing Council and the British Boxing Board of Control, our steward in charge is Mr. Mick Collier, and at ringside, our three scoring judges. From Gillingham, Ian John Lewis. From Barhead, Victor Lachlan. From Watford, Bob Williams. On the bell, timekeeper Brett Bowles. And in charge of the action, a referee, championship referee from Birmingham, Mr. Terry O'Connor. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Time to meet the boxers. Firstly, 
In the blue corner stands the challenger, weighing in at 17 stone, 13 pounds and 6 ounces. He wears the white shorts with red and green trim. He is Britain's most decorated amateur boxer. With a perfect professional record, three contests, three wins, all three inside the distance. He is a former Olympic silver medalist from Sydney, London, the juggernaut, Joe Joyce. And in the red corner stands the champion, winning green with black and gold, weighing in at 16 stones, six pounds and six ounces from 27 contests, 22 wins, 10 inside the distance, four defeats, one draw. Standing before you this evening, the reigning, defending, heavyweight champion of the Commonwealth from Jamaica, Len Roy, TNT Thomas. Here we go, Joyce. I spot you in the change room, you know what I expect. Shake hands, best of luck as well. God bless you. Seconds up. So here we go, can Joe Joyce make history tonight? Joyce in those Mexican colours, and also the fact that it's Cinco de Mayo. Lenroy Thomas in the Jamaican colours. Joyce has been impressive so far, eighth round stoppage win against former British title challenger Ian Lewison in his first fight. Since then, he's had two first round stoppage wins against opponents who just couldn't live with him. And he's been very much enjoying training under Ismail Salas alongside David Hay, who thought that he would move quickly, and he has. He's got an astonishing engine for somebody this size. His career in the amateurs was a terrific one. Bronze medalist in the World Championship, silver medalist in the Olympic Games, Commonwealth gold medalist. He's missing with a big wide right hand there. And Thomas scoring with the left to the body. He's compact, he's well drilled, Thomas. He's got experience. He comes in good shape. And a good body attack there again from Thomas. Yeah, Thomas has landed a lot of things already in this first round. He's landed several straight lefts down the middle. He's landed some left uppercut come hook to the body. Hasn't found Joyce hard to hit at all, but Joyce, the sheer size of him, physical presence just coming forward, no respect, complete disregard for everything Thomas is throwing at him. Just a close quarters there, just looking to try and use those physical advances. He's just missing with big wide hooks at the minute, Joyce. Not really looking to get on that jab, he's trying to manhandle Thomas in there, really, and I think early on just established that he is the bigger and stronger of the two. Yeah, just the sheer size and so physically imposing, just walking through. Lenroy Thomas really here. Good body shot from Joyce. And there's some good defence in there from Thomas as well, just moving his head on the ropes, but I think he was caught a little bit there. Maybe a slight trip as he went backwards, but Joyce just looking to try and pin him on the ropes. Yeah, there's not much finesse here from Joyce. It's very clumbersome and slow, but it's very heavy handed very physically imposing, very clubbing with these shots. And every time he lands, Lenroy Thomas looks disorientated. And it was really interesting there in that red corner. Just as they were in that clinch, Lenroy Thomas just gave Kenny Porter his trainer a look at ringside, and there was, well, a look of apprehension in his eyes as he looked at his trainer, as if to say, what have I run into here? Because Joyce is just looking to impose his will and his physicality on Thomas here, and he's doing a pretty good job of it. Yeah, he's a little bit awkward looking with his footwork. He's a bit clumbersome, and he's following Lenroy Thomas round the ring. He's not cutting him off. But when, he do, when they do come together, he's so physically imposed, so heavy-handed. It's difficult for Lenroy Thomas to cope with, to be honest. Well, Thomas down right at the end of the round. And being counted, a body punch it was. Away to our right-hand side. And just the accumulation of blows landed there by Joyce. And the score comes in at the end of the first round. And, well, 
from Joyce really. That was really you to stop you would describe it as in boxing terms. Yeah, there's the body shot there, right under the elbow in the floating rib area. Good body shot from Joyce. At times he looks methodical and clumbersome, but the sheer size of him and the physical presence and the heavy handedness when he does land, it's quite unstoppable, frankly. I mean, he's Glenn Roy Thomas, he's moving, and Joyce is following him, really, not really cutting the ring up, but when he does manage to get to him, you can just see that he's got that freaky power to take him out, really. Well, the Juggernaut is an appropriate nickname because when he slips off that handbrake and starts rolling across the ring at you, you've got big problems. Lenroy Thomas needs to try and stay out of the way. He's getting up close to try and work to the body, and up close really is the best place for him to be, but that in itself takes some courage to get to that kind of range. The referee wants a quick word with both of them. No wrestling and holding, baby told you, that's heavy. Box. He wants the pair of them to keep it tidy, but I don't think Joyce has got any intention of keeping this tidy as I said between rounds it was route one in the first round he doesn't seem to have any respect whatsoever for any power that Thomas may possess and again he's just looking to get to work here one criticism he could have made of him in the amateurs that he could be a little bit slow to start at times he hasn't been tonight but once he gets going not big left hook legs gone there he's gone I think left hand again there yeah. from Joyce and just missed with a big left hand just planting those feet and looking to pile in with the hooks and he's just knocking Lenroy Thomas around here. Long right hand, yeah, that was slightly that short. Was and Terry O'Connor's having a good look at this. He's trying to sway and tuck up in the corner there, Thomas, but he just cannot stay out of the way. In the neutral corner, he drops down to a knee, gets back to his feet, but there's a long time left in this round, just under two minutes, and there'll be some effort if he can get through this. He'll he's got well to try to and hold this. on. I think this is the end here, and then... Uh, but Joyce again just cuffs him backward, lands right to the body. These aren't landing all that clean all of the time, but they're heavy. But they're heavy, they're getting through that. He's almost punching through the guard. Even, even the shots that he's blocking, they're having a big effect on him. Sneaking that right hand in around the back of the guard, and there's not really anything coming back from Thomas at the minute. He's complaining to Terry O'Connor that he was hit low, the referee not having any of it, then a big smear in left hand. Or was it an elbow? I think the referee indicated there it was an elbow. He went back into the blue corner there, Thomas. Had it been a clean punch, you could maybe have argued that the ropes kept him up. Let's go! He ain't going to get tired, let's go! He's putting a lot into this, though. Joyce would be interesting if he doesn't get Lenroy Thomas out of here after what he's putting into this, will it? Will he start to tire a little bit? Well, Thomas has just got to try and dig in for this final 50 seconds and reach the refuge of that stool between rounds. It'll seem like a very long time for him. Joyce again coming good forward. Good body shot from Thomas. Another good body shot. The good body shot's going to come Thomas here. That one's straight a little low. Oh, legs are gone. Well, referee, Terry O'Connor, is counting. It seemed pretty borderline, and he waves it off. Legs he waves it off, the legs are gone out from Thomas, and Joe Joyce is Commonwealth heavyweight champion in just his fourth professional contest, breaking a record that has stood for 106 years. I mean, at times, Andy, he doesn't look pretty, but my God, he is a physical specimen, walking forward, heavy-handed. Like I said, at times, a bit slow, a little awkward-looking, clumbersome, but he's just so heavy-handed, so strong, that Lenroy Thomas just could not make a dent in him. He's still a little bit, he's up now on his feet, but the leg's still shaky. He could do the stall, to be honest. George just posing for photos in at Sombrero. They've been very positive all week, ever since the fight was made. It was Derek Chisora that they really wanted, but they got it on with the Commonwealth champion instead. He's just relentless, you know, he's, that's the word, relentless, like I say, at times, not the most pretty to watch, not the most finesse or skillful, but seriously heavy-handed, seriously strong, and just keeps on bulldozing forward with very little respect about what's coming back at him. For a heavyweight, he just throws so many punches. He's always been like this. In Aiba boxing, he would just grind fighters down. He would seem to get stronger the longer the fight went on. There's that left hook and that just really took everything away from him 
Yeah, it was a chopping left hook. Legs were gone. He, even there, falling over himself, legs. Even when he got up, he was uh, he needed the stall. That was a that shook into his boots. Well, I thought there was maybe a body shot in there somewhere, but it's that left hand and it. No, it was the left hand and it was the, it was the body shot. Stuff. It was a body shot from Ledmore Thomas that landed simultaneously, but the left hook from Joyce absolutely took the legs away from Lenroy Thomas, rocked him to his boots. Still a bit shaky now. Well, it's going to be so interesting to see how things progress with him. The British title being contested by Sam Sexton, the champion, and Huey Fury next week. The European title was defended by Agit Kabayel a couple of weeks ago. It's bizarre to be talking in these terms, but he's Commonwealth champion now, and that's the kind of level he needs to be looking towards yeah well he's no spring chicken he hasn't had many fights at all as a professional but you know he's commonwealth champion he has big amateur pedigree like i say he he is pushing on in terms of age so i think the plan for him is just to move quickly and keep going but i mean he's he's such a physical specimen he hits so hard so methodical like i say lacks a bit of skill a bit of finesse but very difficult man to stop in his tracks just keeps coming forward Ladies and gentlemen, timekeeper Brett Bowles records an official time. Two minutes, 36 seconds of round number two. Referee Terry O'Connor reaches the count of 10. Winner by count out. He is the new heavyweight champion of the Commonwealth from Putney, London, the juggernaut, Joe Joyce. Brutal display from Joe Joyce, who's got that Commonwealth belt, and he's got it a lot quicker than another man who we'll be seeing later on, who has arrived inside the arena. Mr. Anthony Joshua, the unified heavyweight champion of the world. I'm sure that he'll get a look at that performance himself at some point. He's done plenty of rounds with Joyce himself up in Sheffield, preparing for his fights, and you'll know all about him, the heavyweight scene just bubbling up nicely everywhere. Constant debate as to what exactly will be next for Joshua, but he'll get an enormous cheer when he arrives inside the O2. His popularity is absolutely off the hook. Lenroy Thomas just making his way out of the ring, away to our left-hand side. Joe Joyce posing. For a few pictures it was interesting seeing that embrace between him and ismail salas it's a real little and large combination salas has actually got a pair of those platform boots that adam booth who's working with our colleagues talk sport tonight away to our left hand side used for david hayes fight against nikolai valuev and you can see exactly why he needs them he just takes a giant stride over that top rope with richard schaefer down to ringside where he is in the company of andy scott The juggernaut, Joe Joyce, your Commonwealth heavyweight champion in just your fourth fight. The analysis of your performance, your assessment in your own words. I thought I did a good job. I, you know, landed some good shots I wanted to land and, you know, hopefully gave uh, everyone here, here watching here and at home like a good show. And, uh, you know, got him out there in the second round and that was for, the, for this Commonwealth title belt. So, you know, it means a lot. And um, I'd just like to thank, you know, my team, uh, my family, my friends, yeah. and uh, all, all the fans. What was your game plan, uh, you and your trainer, Ismail Salas? Because he's a seasoned pro, Lenroy Thomas, he's a champion as well, but you just seemed intent on steamrolling straight through him. Yeah, I knew he'd be a you know, tricky opponent. He's, uh, you know, he had the Commonwealth title and he was, um, you know, as a Southport, so he's, um, you know, quite stocky and, um, you know, knew his things, but, you know, I just, Use my range and you know got to him. Not every amateur is destined for a successful pro career, but do you think that your style is suited to professional boxing? Yeah, I think I'm made for it. And they're happy to fast track you, your team. Is that something that you're pushing for as well? Yeah, I'm happy too. You know, I'm. I'm who cares? You know, I'm, I'm up for anything. And uh, you know, I'm I'm successful at it, so I'm going to keep going. I'm enjoying myself, so you know, there's. The future, uh, you know, the world's monster. 
who do you want next? We've already seen you here at the O2, uh, clashing with Derek Chisora. Obviously, there's a British title route if you want to go that way. What do you want to do? Um, yeah, I'd like to challenge for the British title. It's a lovely belt, and um, you know, uh, Huey and Sam, uh, Huey Fury, Sam Sexton. You know, are going to be fighting next week, next Saturday. So, you know, perhaps maybe one of the winners from that. You didn't really get your chance to have your say when you were here with Derek Chisora. Do you want to have it now? Uh, Chisora, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a word with uh, Richard Safer, part of your promotional team. Any plans to go to America? And this is a refreshing thing to fast track a, a heavyweight. Absolutely. We said in the beginning when he started the journey that we're going to be collecting belts. Tonight was the first one, and today is a big Mexican holiday, Cinco de Mayo. I think they're going to change the name to Cinco de Cho, uh, because tonight was really Mexican style as well. Beautiful combinations, body shots. I mean, he really is the real deal. And so, uh, as we said, uh, sometime next year, I think he will be ready to fight for a world title. Do you believe you're sitting next to a future heavyweight world champion? No question about it, none. Joe, you've worked here. Uh, I'd just like to add, Mexican Joe, Cinco de Mayo. Well, is it going to be the fifth of Hay as well? I have to ask you about the main event. You've, you've oh, trained yeah. alongside David Hay. Is it a win for your camp tonight? Do you think your stablemate can beat Tony Bellew? Yeah, we're on a roll. Uh, Cody Davis, he got his win. I got my win. David's up next for the main event of the evening. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this. You know, keep, get the hat trick. You can be an MC as well. Well done, Joe. <laughs> All tight. Inside. <laughs> Well done. Well, fantastic stuff. Success there for Joe Joyce. Uh, making history.